Today marks one year since the world first started seeing spectacular images of the cosmos that were captured by the powerful James Webb Telescope. James Webb Telescope just received a weird signal. The Andromeda Galaxy is our nearest galactic neighbor, and for centuries, we thought we knew it pretty well. But new data from the James Webb Space Telescope is turning everything we thought we knew upside down. The Webb Telescope has been able to peer into the Andromeda Galaxy with unprecedented clarity, and what it's seen is shocking. The galaxy is much more active than we thought, with a hot, young core and a swarm of star-forming regions. It's also much more massive, with over a trillion stars. These findings have major implications for our understanding of the Andromeda Galaxy, and they could also have implications for our own galaxy, the Milky Way. The two galaxies are on a collision course, and the Webb Telescope data suggests that the collision could be much more violent than we thought. What else does the Webb Telescope data tell us about the Andromeda Galaxy, and what does it mean for our place in the universe? Join us as we explore the shocking truth about it that we didn't see coming for an entire century. More than a century ago, people looked up at the night sky and saw the Milky Way as a faint, wispy band of whitish lights. They believed it was the center of all creation, where the celestial and terrestrial spheres met. But everything changed when Galileo Galilei came onto the scene in the early 17th century with his groundbreaking observations using his newly developed telescope. Galileo's telescope allowed him to see beyond the limitations of the human eye. He discovered that the Milky Way was not just a diffuse band of light, but a vast collection of individual stars, planets, and other celestial objects. This shattered the prevailing belief in Aristotelian cosmology and revolutionized our understanding of the universe. Galileo's observations also revealed that the Milky Way was not at the center of the universe as previously believed. Instead, it was a vast expanse of stars scattered throughout space. This realization opened up a whole new world of possibilities and sparked a wave of curiosity among astronomers. In 1750, English astronomer Thomas Wright proposed a new hypothesis about the structure of the Milky Way. He speculated that it was not a random distribution of stars, but a completely flat layer of stars. He also suggested that a portion of this vast structure was our own solar system. While Wright's hypothesis was a step forward, it was still limited by the technology of the time. However, the field of astronomy made major leaps in the early 1800s, and by the early 1900s, things were changing rapidly. In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble, an American astronomer, made a transformative discovery using the 100-inch Hooker Telescope at Mount Wilson Observatory. Hubble observed distant nebulae beyond the Milky Way and analyzed their observations. He demonstrated that these nebulae were not part of the Milky Way, but separate galaxies in their own right. Each of these galaxies contained billions of stars, just like our own Milky Way. One of the closest galaxies to us is the Andromeda Galaxy, also known as M31. Observers of Andromeda date back centuries, with one of the earliest records originating from the 10th century. Persian astronomer Abd al-Rahman al-Sufi described it as a small cloud in star charts from that period. What makes Andromeda particularly fascinating is that it can be seen from Earth's surface without the need for telescopic instruments. Al-Sufi was able to identify this distant cosmic entity solely through his keen eyesight and observations. While his description was limited, it laid the foundation for future astronomers to study Andromeda in more detail. In 1612, more detailed descriptions of Andromeda based on telescopic observations were provided by Simon Marius. Later in 1764, the renowned French astronomer Charles Messier cataloged Andromeda as M31 in his well-known Messier catalog, mistakenly attributing its discovery to Simon Marius. For almost 100 years, astronomers worldwide worked to understand more about this mysterious galaxy, each building upon the findings of the last. 
1864, English astronomer William Huggins made a groundbreaking observation that furthered our understanding of Andromeda. He studied its spectrum and noticed that it was different from that of a typical gaseous nebula. This paved the way for the world to truly get to know Andromeda for what it really is. Andromeda is a colossal cosmic structure, estimated to have a mass between 1 and 2 trillion times that of our Sun. It is relatively close to us in the vastness of space and its age is believed to be around 10 billion years old. One intriguing aspect of Andromeda's origin is the hypothesis that it formed through the merging of several smaller proto-galaxies. Over billions of years, these smaller galactic entities gradually came together under the force of gravity to form the majestic Andromeda galaxy. Galactic mergers like this are common occurrences in the cosmos, shaping the growth and structure of galaxies. Interestingly, astronomers used to think that Andromeda was significantly more massive than our own Milky Way galaxy. This misconception arose because we are within our own galaxy, and when we see Andromeda from Earth, it appears so large that it's easy to believe nothing could come close to its size. However, further research has shown that they are more comparable in size. Recent research has completely changed our understanding of the Andromeda galaxy and its relationship with our own Milky Way. Scientists have discovered that Andromeda's mass is actually smaller than previously thought, while the mass of the Milky Way is larger. This means that if you were on Andromeda and looked at Earth, you would see a galaxy of similar size and mass to your own. It's mind-boggling to think about how colossal both the Milky Way and Andromeda truly are. One thing astronomers agree on is the impressive dimensions physically of Andromeda. It stretches farther than our Milky Way, with a diameter of about 220,000 light years, surpassing our galaxy's estimated diameter of 100,000 to 175,000 light years. Andromeda takes up a large region of space, making it a significant cosmic entity. But measuring the mass of galaxies accurately is a challenging task. Galaxies are immense systems and their mass is intricately linked to the distribution and movements of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter within them. It's a job that requires sophisticated observational techniques and meticulous analysis, which couldn't have been done in the 1700s or 1800s. One of the most fascinating features of Andromeda is its active galactic nucleus, or AGN. This highly energetic region at the center of the galaxy is powered by a supermassive black hole. When astronomers observe the AGN, they notice two points of concentration where radiation is more intense. The brighter concentration is slightly off the true galactic center, and within this area lies the supermassive black hole. Supermassive black holes play a crucial role in the evolution and dynamics of galaxies. When matter gets too close to them, it forms an accretion disk that emits intense radiation. The gravitational interactions between the black hole and surrounding stars create the brighter point of concentration observed in Andromeda's AGN. Another interesting feature of Andromeda is its abundance of globular clusters. These tight groups of stars orbit around the center of the galaxy, adding to its cosmic history and interactions with smaller galaxies. Andromeda has around 460 of these clusters, each containing hundreds of thousands to millions of stars that formed around the same time. But what's even more intriguing is the future of Andromeda and the Milky Way. Scientists predict that these two galaxies are on a collision course and will eventually merge to form a new supergalaxy. This cosmic event, nicknamed Milkometer, or Milkdromeda, will cause immense gravitational forces that distort the galaxy's shapes and lead to mayhem and destruction. The collision will also trigger the merging of supermassive black holes and the formation of new star clusters and structures. As the galaxies merge, significant changes will occur not only in space, but also on Earth. The interactions between stars, gas, and dust can disrupt habitats, shift biodiversity, and even cause local extinctions. The merging process could also impact Earth's climate and weather patterns, affecting temperature, precipitation, and the distribution of vegetation and animal habitats. 
Changes in atmospheric composition might influence essential processes for life, potentially disrupting ecosystems. As the galaxies merge, the transformations in climate, ecosystems, and habitats will have significant consequences for various species on Earth. Migration patterns crucial for breeding, foraging, and survival may be disrupted, making it challenging for animals to find food, water, and suitable breeding sites. Biodiversity within ecosystems may also change, with some species thriving in the new conditions while others struggle to adapt. This could lead to increased competition for resources and potential local extinctions. However, it's important to note that the collision and merger of the galaxies won't happen overnight. It is estimated to take around 4 billion years for the collision to begin and another 2 billion years for the entire merging process to complete. By that time, our sun will have already evolved into a red giant, rendering our solar system uninhabitable. If any descendants of our species or other life forms exist billions of years from now, they will have evolved significantly and be distant from us in evolutionary history. The fate of our solar system within the new supergalaxy is uncertain. There is a possibility that our solar system could be ejected into the intergalactic medium during the collision. The exact outcome and structure of the new galaxy are impossible to predict. Within the merged galaxy, there may be star systems with planets orbiting the habitable zone where conditions could be suitable for liquid water to exist. Liquid water is considered crucial for the development and sustenance of life as we know it. The stability of the new galactic structure will play a vital role in determining whether life can thrive. It's important to recognize that humans of today won't be able to survive in this new galaxy. Evolution takes place over long periods of time, and the conditions and challenges of the new galactic environment would require significant adaptations that are beyond our current capabilities. Now, we've come to the end of today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching!